Help us welcome the irreverent reverend, your freaky deacon, the one, the only, Mr. Art Zealous. How you doing, folks? How you doing? How good to see you this morning. Good morning, my friends. Art is here to make the world a better place. So let's make it how you want it. Yeah. And if you are bedeviled by blockages, you are going to pick up that phone and you are going to dial the number down below and we are going to help you start your art. That's right. So, so, what a beautiful morning it is today. What a beautiful morning indeed. I want to say thank you to the Art Zealous Singer. You were beautiful out there morning, this morning, fellas. That is so pretty. I want to say thank you to old Agnes on the organ. Agnes is going to hit that organ to keep us on track. And we have got a very special guest today in St. Alexis Cohen of Ascension. Folks, there's someone special I want you to meet. Someone as insightful as she is delightful. Hey, Bill, come say nice to these nice folks. Hey, who gnaw her here? Who gnaw her? My darling, do you have something for us today? I do, I do, AZ. I brought a Sunday bell that I think is going to be just perfect for today. Are you ready? I'm ready for it. Are your eyes closed? My eyes are closed. This quote is frequently attributed to the artist Salvador Dali, one of oh. my personal favorites. And what he's said to have said is, intelligence without ambition is like a bird without wings. Oh, was that good? Intelligence without ambition is like a bird without wings. Boy, she gives me something to think about, think about every single day. Uh, let's give her one more round of applause, folks. Now, folks, Belle, as you know, hosts our chat here on the internet page. So if you're visiting via the internet, please drop in, say howdy, let us know what it is you are making today. And you know. She will be here to help me take your calls. But first, you got to make some art. That's right. So whatever you're working on today, grab your materials. Or if you are looking for ideas today, we are making a better bird bath. Now, there are many benefits to a better bird bath, such as making your environs more welcoming for friendly, beneficial wildlife beautifying the exterior of your home with both art and playful whimsical motion and a compelling excuse to build a miniature environment to any theme or aesthetic you enjoy but which serves a functional purpose both justifying the project and introducing a creative constraint in which to reflect and revel and I know you can tell me, for every school child knows them, what's art's commandment number one? Art resourceful. We are resourceful to start the fun, so when I say go, you are going to have 60 seconds and 60 seconds only to run and grab any tool you like for any art you make. Today, I will be using my standard doodlers, the pencil, the paper, the crayon, and a tall, refreshing beverage, because the most important tool is you. Get ready. Get set. You know, I wonder if birds would trade the ability of flight in exchange for the ability to become invisible. I bet you crows would. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Tricked you there. And to make these 60 seconds take forever, I will read boringly from the boring, boring bulletin board. Would you like to play a role-playing game about a tight-knit community of asteroid miners striving to survive in the far reaches of space? Well, guess what? Saints Mo and Michael still need playtesters for their new game, Hold Fast Station. Play alternates between events, moments of high drama, calamity, and risk, and cycles when the station inhabitants rebuild and fortify their outpost against future peril. The game can be played as a one-shot, wherein the PCs must save their hard scrabble home from disaster, or as a campaign that charts the fast 
the church, the faith, excuse me, of hold fast over many cycles. Now, with four tiny seconds remaining, thus concludes our boring, boring bulletin for today. So if you want a link or have a bulletin for next week, anything artistic you need or want, text BORING to the number below and trust in your community of venerable saints to provide. Welcome back now that we have what we need. We will not move from our seats for a time, though tempted, says our commandment number two. Art devoted. That's right, that's right, little children. We aren't devoted, so shoo fly shoo. Let us roll up our sleeves and devote our attention fully. For all the best art starts in the butt. A grand idea is nothing if you can't sit down your buttocks. I'm gonna fold my jacket real nice. So before we sit, let us shake away our various wiggles and here we go. Shake it out, shake it out, shake that butt. Shake it out, shake it out and sit. Congratulations, you are now a serious artist. You know, I just remember, I gotta go flip the jar of all natural peanut butter in the fridge, which resettles the contents so they do not require stirring when I go to butter my toast. So I'm gonna hop off and do that right now. Whoa! Hold on a second. I caught you! I caught you, you sneaky little guy! You see, whenever there's a voice in your head that tells you that you should do something, anything except for doing your art, well, you just know who's doing the whispering, don't you? You just know who it is out there that wants to keep you from doing your art, don't you? Sure you do. That's old Scratch. That's right. That's right. That's old Scratch. Scratch want to keep you from making your mark. He, you, you want to make your mark, he whispers, scratch that out. And he knows that if he can get you running off for two minutes to, to, to decoagulate the peanut butter, that's two minutes of art he tricked you out of making. And old Scratch, he got a streak too, just like you. And he thinks maybe he can keep it going. But old Scratch, he lied. So to him, you know what we say? We say coconuts. That's right. We take all of the whispers, all of the distraction, all of the troubles and the worries that we got in our head and we squeeze them down into a coconut. A single coconut containing all the troubles in the world. Let me say, ha! Coconuts! Coconuts! And then we take our troubles in this coconut, and we take that coconut, all self-contained. Look at that tight little package we got there. One coconut! And we hook it in the ocean, watch it float away. Look at that. Look how gentle that. Look how gentle. Ooh. It becomes relaxing after a while when you watch the floating of the, the thing. Now those troubles are gonna be there later if we want them. If we want them. So friends, now, now what do we do? Well, you know what we do. We close our eyes and we breathe. Because now it is time to employ arts commandment number three. We art nicely. Ain't that nice? Feel that sunlight streaming down on you, filling you up with light. We art nice. We are gentle. We picture the art we are about to make. Already done and perfect. Oh, ain't that nice. And we talk real nice to it. Say, hey there, a better bird bath. Don't you look nice today? I sure do like your pretty sparkling water fountains. Now, Think of what you love about your art and just jot it down real quick. Jot it down real quick. Just get it down real quick in the quickest way you can. Think of all the things that you want your art to be. Don't worry about how you're going to get it made. No! Just go, well, one thing I love about my art is this. We got about a minute here. Minute and 50 seconds, that is. Approximately a minute if I'm rounding up. So, say to your better bird bath, I love your bird-friendly affordances, seed bells, 
birdhouses and nesting perches. Bell, what are you? Well, what's going on over there? Saint Oh, St. Breakfast Machine, thank you for coming this morning. He loves the ornate pedestals. St. Saint Breakfast Machine, I put you upon a pedestal, sir. That's what I like about you. At your, uh, your high vantage point, uh, uh, among other things. Say, hey there, little birdbath. I sure do love your avian protective measures against cats and squirrels. That's right. Yeah, you got to think about these things. Want to be a comfortable, welcoming place. Oh, all right, Agnes. Oh, Agnes keeps us on track, don't you? We got one minute left, folks. What about, what about, what about, what about an aesthetic theme that celebrates the bird lifestyle? Such as eggs travaganza or trees mendis. I like that one. Trees, aren't they great? And not just for bird bass. They got a natural shading. So think about what it is you love about your bird bath. An environment that can only be accessed by flight? Oh, what would such an environment be like? It staggers the environment. In the imagination. Here I go. Here I go. Just five seconds remaining. Jot down real quick. Jot down real quick so you have it. Have it all, all right here. All right, Agnes, you're tough but fair. All right, time is up, folks. Now, wasn't that nice? Wasn't that nice? Okay. So now that we got our jots all down, we can start to doodle it. That's right. Because next, we're going to art lightly. That's right. Lightly, pencils only, no crayons, no erasers, breezy, easy, everything you do is correct. We are here to play. So what will we find on the page today? It's a great question. One I intend to answer. Because we got seven minutes here and seven minutes only. Because uh, the faster we can do our doodles, the sooner we can see approximately what this art is going to be. And I like to set a little timer here. You may not always set a timer, but I like a little timer here because once we start a doodling, we are gone, aren't we? I can look up from a, a short session of doodling and realize, boy, it's about time I shave my long white beard. It goes all the way to the floor, intermingled with the roots of that tree. So... Sometimes that's fun to be transported by distraction. Certainly, that's one of the many, many gifts of making art. That is one of the many ways that any art makes the world a better place. In fact, to be transported to a world of reverie. But the satisfaction of getting a work of art done is another magnificent, magnificent work gift of art. And that is a gift that we shall give ourselves today, my friends. We're gonna we're gonna work on getting something done, and so now we gotta look through at our jots here, and uh, we gotta assess what's the most important. What's the most important? Where where do we start here? Okay, well uh, I I think the reaction I got from Bell for tremendous is uh, is uh, telling. You know, it's a uh, it's uh, you don't want to be too devoted to feedback, but whenever you can put your work in any form, a concept in front of an audience, if you feel you're able to do so, if you feel it is the appropriate time to share, minding their reactions can give you an insight into what an audience will respond to. And in this case, when I said trees mendus, it made Bell happy, and so it made me happy too. So, the theme of our bird friendly, friendly better bird bath will be a, a, a tree-like environment. An environment which shall be welcoming. Okay, that's five minutes left. Okay, thank you, Agnes. Keeping me on track. Woo! She is worth whatever we are paying her. Okay. So, I'm going to go into the tree-like tree -like area here. Things that, uh, that look like trees. Things that are beautiful about trees. We got our roots. We got our branches. We got a thick trunk. But not too thick because, well, you know, we got our, our cats and our squirrels to worry about. And uh, the tree is the, the natural environment for squirrels and cats. So maybe we're going to make it a little difficult for them. Maybe we can put like some sort of barrier here. So 
without knowing technologically how we're going to achieve that. I'm going to just draw a line here to indicate that this is going to be it's going to be some sort of barrier there. And uh, you know, maybe that's a structural element, maybe that's a design element. I don't yet know. But let's take a look at that. There's a barrier. So like if a cat were going to jump up there, he'd have to he'd have to access it uh, from the ground. Uh, he couldn't crawl up he couldn't clamber up the trunk itself. Um, and let's uh, before I get too enamored with the the anti cat mechanisms that this employs, let's get some uh, let's get some uh, basins in here. And I don't think it's going to be one basin. I think it's going to be <laughs> well as many basins as is reasonable. Uh, and for the basin, it's just a, it's, I'm just going to go with the standard hemisphere here. And uh, yours don't got to be that. Ours, of course, don't look have to look anything like each other. I, I sort of hope that they don't. Um, but let's get some uh, some basins here. And you can kind of see that my intention here is to wrap the the trees branches around the basin. So this this supposes uh, either an actual tree where. Uh, uh, I either trained the branches to go around the basins, which would be a many-year affair and in, impractical for our purposes, or perhaps an existing tree where I took the natural curvature of the branches and used it to, to place, to source and place a basin that would fit in the existing crevasse. Also impractical for our purposes. The third option is that this tree is a fabricated tree, a wholly original work, and if we were to construct this, that we may want to construct it to resemble a tree, but in fact, uh, but, but in fact, not be a tree at all. Perhaps it could be ceramic. Perhaps it could be fiberglass. Uh, perhaps it could be a hologrammatic tree for hologrammatic birds. Let's table that. Okay, we got about two minutes left here. And once again, I start out with the grandest of ambitions and find myself wishing I had more time. But, boy, I, I got to practice what I preach and preach I do, my friends. So let's see what we can do in the remaining two minutes. We're drawing lightly here. We can't make mistakes. We're not erasing anything, are we? No. No. Because that, that, that gives it a sense of permanence. That's like the mark that we place has to be uh, the mark that we place for all time. And that is not what we're doing here. See, if we draw real lightly, we can come back and draw over it with the line that we know is permanent. Some of these lines are gonna make the cuts, some are not, but now is not the time to, now is not the time to, to worry about that and puzzle over that. No. How you doing, Belle? St. John of Saints, he wants to know if you're drawing a coconut tree. Well, that's a great question. Is this gonna be a coconut tree? That's beautiful. Belle, can I show your pretty hair on camera? Is that okay? <laughs> you look so nice. Is that okay? You may. All right, okay, here I'm gonna go. Gonna go to her right. Ain't she a beauty, folks? Look at that. Oh, what a treasure. Oh, look at that woman. Oh, don't she look nice today? Oh, what a treat. Okay, Agnes, okay. Can you let me have a moment alone with my wife on camera to our millions and millions of viewers? They're here for art, but then they're also here for the art of lovemaking, if I understand. Now, I may be wrong about that, but I doubt that I am. So uh, I talked a big game about birdhouses and perches here, but with a minute remaining, I'm finding this kind of bereft of that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put some hanging birdhouses here, which is itself an anti-squirrel measure, an anti-cat measure. So uh, that that gets us that gets us t talking about it. it, gets us in the territory. We take this out to investors, say we need a little seed money. <laughs> they'll see that and they'll know that we thought of all the things that we need. <laughs> All right, we got just 10 short seconds remaining. 10 short seconds. Wrap it up here. What do we got? All right, so we got, all right, we got a little something here. This is officially a little something here, right? You look at this. You're like, okay, okay. Well, congratulations. Congratulations allow me to be the first to congratulate you because what you got now you got a tiny little baby work of art. And I hear you, I hear you, I know, I know. You say, well, Zell, this here, this ain't no good. It's only a little, it's only a little doodle. Well, listen to what I tell you next. Up here, in the imagination, there is all ideas, big and small. Every idea that can't be imagined is in the imagination. But, 
Those ideas, they are not real. And that's okay, because nothing is real until somebody makes it. So you went up here, you went up here into your imagination, and you took an idea and you said, I think you, I think a bird bath that looks like uh, a coconut tree is a good idea. Let's go down here, get you down on paper. And you walk down the stairs, it's a spiral staircase. It's better because it takes up a, a columnic footprint. It's a, a sta regular staircase is very far away from the apex of, but I digress. So you made upstairs, you went upstairs, you made a friend, you brought him down, you put him on paper, and you made him real. Now you can hand that paper to your professional colleagues, perhaps your executive lawyer, for one, or teacher, if you have one of those. And they can look at it and they're like, oh, is this, is this a tree-based birdhouse? I think I get the picture. And if you go, down the street to a Starbucks, and you come back, that art will be there waiting for you. And that's, that's my friend, is an example of real. When you go away, that art will still be there. So friends, I know this art is not yet how you would have it be, and we're gonna get to that next. But for now, why don't you take a little snapshot of your art, please, and show it to us. Why don't you text it to the number down below. Take a picture of your art and text it with the name so so that we can see what you're making. And uh, now, Belle, can you prep some of that artwork? I would love to show some of the art we're making on the TV here. Now, of course, to make something fine means more than to make it. Which is why now we enter the stage of refinement. Now, you know what you're making. You know what you're making now. Now is the time to make it great. So now it's playtime. We're gonna make it bigger. We're gonna make it nicer. We're going to worry not about speed, for now is the time to luxuriate on the rich and delicious details. That's right, Big Bird, I'm talking about crayons. And so now you and me is going to shoot the breeze. We're going to keep each other a couple of knees while we both work on our art. And I know that everyone is trying to get through. So I better get to work and take some of these calls. Folks, the creative confessional of the airwaves is now open. You've got crafty consternations. We have your artful solutions. Call that number down below with any artistic worry, big or small, and we will start your heart for art. And friends, everyone is trying to call. So if you if you call and you don't get through right away, just leave a message. Well, maybe we'll call you back as soon as we can. Oh, oh, looks like we got some art to show here. What kind of art? Let's see. Let's take a look at what, what we got here. We got one of our friends making art. Look at whose that is. Oh, that's St. Shirley. Look at St. Shirley and her son hat and her Captain America shirt. She's making some art. Look at that! Oh, at the breakfast table. Oh, hi there, Shirley. Oh, we hope you enjoy the program. Look at oh, look at all those nice art supplies they got out there. They got little bins and caddies. Oh, ain't that beautiful? Boy, I love to see that. I love to see that. Hey, hey, Belle, don't we have uh, Sir Brex Machines monster truck from last week? Can we take a look at that? How nice that turned out. She was gonna get that up on the screen. We'll take a look at that in a moment. So friends, everyone is trying to call. So if you're calling and you don't get through, hey, be patient. That's just how the cookie crumbles. We're going to call you back if we can. All right, all right. Now let's uh, let's see what we got here. Let's, let's make some art. Let's take some calls and keep each other company. Oh, it looks like we got, oh, we got, oh, look at that. Oh, look at St. Breakfast Machine. Oh, look at that. His monster truck entitled Self Doubt. And, you know, I find my eyes drawn to those exhaust pipes. Look at those belching beauties they got. And look at the, oh, look at the, oh, I love this. I love this breakfast machine. Okay, I want to call your attention to some details here. I, the, the, the paper itself is cut at the top to resemble the curvature of a cloud. Brilliant. Brilliant. Almost like it's belching the smoke, which is its own backdrop. And then we got, we got, uh, looks like it's, it's, a, it's a mixed media work of cut out, cut out paper. And we got, sharp jagged sharp jagged spikes on the bottom oh what a beautiful variety we got round at the top and spiky at the bottom we got all those crush up skulls oh brex machine this is a beautiful work oh, it's just beautiful thank you so much for sharing this huh well that, what a talented artist what a treat what a treat to be in your company saint breakfast machine all right okay i'm goofing off we got callers to take we got art to make let's keep going let's keep going what do you say here let's keep going well, hi, Art. 
This is St. John Claude of Baton Rouge, longtime listener to your fine program and first time caller today. Art, I am seeking your wise counsel on a dilemma I'm facing in my artistic pursuits. See, I'm an alligator artist, and I greatly enjoy rendering the fearsome swamp beast into all manner of baubles, trinkets, jew jaws, and, of course, gator skin boots. But I'm feeling uninspired of late, Art, and I'm prone to wondering if I should branch out into other reptilians like crocodiles, caimans, gharials, and how well, you get the picture. Art, is this a bright new horizon for my creative outlets, or will it just lead me down the path of despair and financial ruin? Please help, kind brother. Oh, well, St. John Claude, thank you so much for calling. Oh, so do you stay with the work of art that made you famous, with the, the work of art that is your bread and butter, the alligator arts, or do you branch out into other forms of gator? Oh, that's a, that's a, that is a tough question. Well, first of all, congratulations on finding a commercial art, the, 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 the medium of gator, which is a very scaly campus indeed, that has, has helped you enjoy some measure of success. You have found an audience and you have earned a living. That is such a... That is such a treat, and I know many of us aspire to do exactly that. Oh, I am so proud of you, and I'm so impressed. So, your question to me, your question to me and Bell is, do you keep you keep on the Gators, or do you branch out? Bell, do you have any thoughts on this? No, she don't. She don't got any thoughts about it. She's busy in the chat. Those kids in their computers, look at them, they typing away. What do they get up to? All right, well, St. Saint, Saint Jean-Claude, I... I can hear the passion in your voice you have for your subject. And I say that there is an imperative for you to at least investigate these parallel mediums. Firstly, uh, you, you want to switch things up to stay inspired. It doesn't mean you can't keep making gator art. Like, you'll be you'll make, making gator art. Got a little flower here. You'll be making gator art the whole time and selling that. But yeah, definitely investigate. And see, the thing that you may not realize St. John Claude, is that you have a lot of accumulated gator wisdom that will work on a gecko. What works on the gator works on the gecko, as I believe Socrates said. I may be paraphrasing. But you are going to find yourself inspired to work in a new form, and you're going to have a lot of institutional knowledge that you have already, you have already amassed that is going to give you a unique insight into the new form as well. So my suspicion is that while you continue to make gator works and in fact come to that with a new perspective because you've introduced some insights about the gecko -y arts that you're gonna you're gonna find something else that you love and you're gonna end up being not just the gator guy can i show that darling that was so pretty show that on the tv what you just had on the screen there gotta go to that right next in addition to the gator arts i think you could be you're gonna be our uh, you're gonna be our, our preeminent gecko artist and I'm gonna I'm gonna go over to the to the Bellevue here because Bell's got another piece of art she's gonna show us. This is a, look at this tree. Look at this tree. Look at this tree that we got here. We got a circular base and we got oh oh look at this. Okay now this is a work of art that I can tell uh, pays a great deal of attention to our constraint of it being anti cat and anti squirrel because you can see already that it's uh, it's it's a sort of uh, avian alcatraz shoots straight up in the air and nobody's getting on or off that thing lest they can fly i can see what looks like maybe some uh, sleeving on the bottom is that copper tubing so that anybody that tries to scramble up with their their adorable claws cannot <laughs> yeah um and then we got all sorts of little uh spikes sticking out and i love if i was to in a word i would characterize this as a as a as a modernist bird bath because it, it has sort of an a, a, atomic or a starburst motif on the top, which looks so, so pretty. I, I hope you continue to develop that. And the rest of the elements are spare and austere, uh, with high contrast between their parts to, to throw all of them into a dashing juxtaposition. So this is a beautiful work. Uh, do you know who made this, darling? Who made this? Don't know. Don't know. All right, folks, when you text your artwork, you got to tell us who made it. you got to tell us who made it so that we can, we can enjoy it, too. All right, we got just... We got just uh, about a dozen minutes remaining here. Got a dozen minutes remaining. And so if you're trying to call, please don't be afraid of trying to call. We'll get you in the instant we can. I know I know that those phone lines are chock-a-block right now, but you could, you just got to keep trying. You owe it to yourself to keep trying. So if you got a call, if you got something you got to say, well, you just give us a call. Darla, what do you got to say? That beautiful piece is from St. Courtney of the Lily 
St. Courtney of the Windy City. St. Courtney, thank you for sending that in. Oh, that's so lovely. St. Courtney, I, I had no idea that you would be so staunchly in favor of the anti-cat mechanisms. I did not realize that that would be a priority for you. I thought, I thought St. Courtney, Courtney, who is a lover of cats, I mean, not that she's against birds, but a lover of cats, I thought that she would, you know, that she would maybe use this as an opportunity to let, to let the historic battle between cat and bird play out and to its natural conclusion. So I'm, I'm pleased to, I'm pleased to see that you have, you have as much sympathy for the bird as you have love for the cat. Oh, thank you for sending that in. Hey, thank you so much for sending that in, Courtney. What a treat. All right, folks, everyone is trying to call. Everyone's trying to get through. So if you call, if you call, you got to leave a message. And you just keep, you just doing that. Maybe you'll get lucky. Maybe, maybe you'll be a ghost in the machine. You'll get through. Maybe. But saving that, you're going to have to call and leave a message. If we can take your call out in the air, we're going to keep, we're going to keep trying to do that. I'm trying to do that. Woo-wee. Woo-wee. What do we got here? Oh, that's right. It can be exhausting, huh? I mean, we've been going at it for 10 minutes now. Been going at it for 10 minutes. And, and you know, it, it's, it's, there's still long, long to go in this bird bath. If, we, if it's going to be the bird bath that we saw when we were arting nicely, there are still many elements that need to be placed. I think you will agree. Or perhaps you find in your own art as, as I have in mine. we got only 10 minutes, 20 seconds remaining. So in times like this, we got to remember art commandment number seven. We art faithful, friends, for the doing gets it done. As long as we do not stop, we cannot be defeated. So you text your art to the number below and be sure to name the artist so we can show that on the air if we are able. If you got a call, you call. You got a call, you call. And we, we can't wait to talk to you either way. So if this program has helped you, I am asking you to make a thousand dollar donation to Arts Ministry right now at this very moment. Or perhaps you're you're of lean means and you can only make a five hundred and seventy five dollar donation. That's fine too, I suppose. It, it's not about the money. I I just want to be able to uh, have a Tarzan playset in my yard for you know the neighborhood kids, visiting guests, and dignitaries as well. And uh, unless you tithe lots of money, big cash money, that's that's not that's not gonna be in my future. And I know, I know you say, I say, say, Art, Art, you're making millions. I say to you, I'm saving millions. That's right. So text tithe to the number below for a cornucopia of easy and better possibly tax deductible donation methods. That's right. Okay, you know, we uh we got this coming in. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and introduce a color here because uh it's what one of the only tools I have in this remaining time to <laughs> to to make any part of this look more finished than the initial sketch. So it pops, it brings the foreground off the background, um, and all you out there playing with your crayons, you made it look so fun, I, I want to get in on the fun as well. All right, we got eight minutes remaining. We got eight minutes and eight minutes only. Oh, boy. Oh, oh here we go. Here we go. Try to stay hydrated, folks. Courtney in the Windy City, I hope you take a sip right now. You got to stay, you got to stay hydrated, Courtney. You heard me right. Hydrated. You gotta say hydrated. You can't get all dried out. Ugh. I apologize that you uh, can only hear me sipping and you cannot hear the the subglottal swallowing mechanisms that indicate just how satisfying that slurp of water was. I mean, you don't really have the whole picture from a gastronomic point of view of what is happening to me. I know you can hear the swallowing and that's great, but I wish you were able to hear more. I just wish you were able to hear more. But if wishes were horses, am I right? Am I right? Oh, friends. Oh, friends. We got only seven minutes remaining. Woo! Is it time to talk about Arts Commandment number nine? Now, the first reason we make art is because it helps, right? It helps us to, uh, to calm ourselves. It helps us to heal our jangled nerves. It helps us uh, in ways uncountable. It helps us to have a single point of focus when the busy of the day and the and the neuroses of our current environment start to 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 fence and 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 compete for our attention and art gives us that but when we share art art helps the world feel better too it communicates what you think 
how you feel, what you think is cool, how you think bird bath should be, what it is that, in your opinion, is deserving of being made real. So if you would like to share your art with us, well, we'd sure like to see it. Don't be shy. We hope you will art proudly and text your art. Text what you made, whatever you're making right now. If you're in the kitchen making the world's greatest omelet or merely the next omelet on your path to the world's greatest omelet, well, you send a picture of that omelet. If you're making a bird bath, I hope you'll send that. I know you're going to send that. You're not going to, to deprive me of the bird bath. Six minutes remaining. I know, Agnes. I'm sorry, Agnes. I, I owe you an apology. You didn't hit the organ that time. I apologize. So uh, uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh, oh, well, I promise you, I promise you something nice, didn't I? I promise you, St. Alexis Cohen, St. Alexis of, of, of Ascension, which means that now I got to make good on that. It's time for Venerable Saints of Art and Craft, featuring St. Alexis of Ascension. All right, quiet down, folks, quiet down. Welcome, St. Alexis of Ascension. Oh, it's great to have you here. Thank you for coming on the program. I'm so happy to be here. This is amazing. Alexis, can you tell the people here what kind of art you like to make? Oh, I love, so my favorite, favorite art, I'm a storyteller, so I love writing. I love writing stories. I love writing poetry, and I love illustrating, and I love painting, so visual art no and writing together. Can you show us something no you made? Yes, I'd be happy to show you something I made. Oh, what's that? I made this. It's an oracle deck. I made it with my very beloved soul sister, Himalaya. It's called the Embody Oracle Card Deck. Fantastic. Tell me everything. Each one of these cards holds a special energy of the feminine aspect of the creator. And each card has a special message for you. Okay, so how does this, how's this oracle deck work? So Zell, I want you to hold an intention or hold a question in your heart and mind, okay? Do I tell it to you? Not yet. And I can see this, this card popped out a little bit. So I really feel like, you know, the creator's speaking through me and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it's this one, right? Don't you think? Yeah, yeah, for definite. So what came through for you is foundation. Foundation. Did you draw that? I drew it. So lovely. Look at that. Yeah. She looks so mysterious and knowledgeable. She has something to tell you about foundation. Support your infrastructure. You, Zell, are a beautiful human being. And right now there may be a part of you that feels a little disconnected from this planet. I don't know, maybe. Perhaps you've been depleted. Just like the roots of a tree, you also, you also have deep connections on this planet with your body. Your roots are your foundation and they may have been thirsty. The roots are equivalent to structure. The branches and the blossoms are where creativity happens. Yet without the foundation of healthy roots, there are no flowers or fruit. When your foundation is not strong, you may feel uneasy, ashamed, or just kind of grumpy. For you to grow your trunk, it's vital to nourish your roots. When your foundation is secure, you can keep growing and are more able to serve your greatest potential. And Zell, you have a lot of potential that you are here to flow onto the world. Huh. So how do you replenish your roots? It could be as simple as drinking more water or juice, or maybe there's a project in your life that could operate more smoothly if you set up a system for it to flourish. Creating a solid base doesn't have to be physical. It can flow from the loving, kind words you say to yourself. You can create a strong foundation for your life in all areas of love, work, and play. Optimism and watering yourself with kindness is key. Is there any area of your life that you can gain from organization to create efficiency? Oh, virtually every area of my life could benefit from a little organization. Can you show us one of your favorite tools to make art? This is. Ooh, I know that. Do you know this one? Is that a brush pen? It's a brush pen. I love a brush pen. Tell me about your brush pen. Marks you can get really, really detailed, really skinny, thin lines, or you can yeah. get really, really thick lines. Yeah. And it's permanent, so I do a lot of uh, illustrating in watercolor so it doesn't smear, yeah. and it's yeah. rich, and it's juicy, and just having this pen makes you want to create art. It's very clear in listening to you that you think that 
the power of art has some sort of divine source. Is that so? A hundred percent. That's what um, art for me is a doorway into the divine. It is, it's the connection point to talk to the creator and to heal. Oh, what a beautiful, what a beautiful way of putting that, Alexis. Thank you so much for coming on the program. Well, I'm a huge fan. So this is such an honor to be here. And yeah, like I'm just so excited. So excited. Oh, thank you so much. Do you work on anything, anything you want to share with the congregation? Anything you want them to know about? I have a congregation too called the Art Medicine Circle. And we're there transforming and healing the world with art. All right, well, maybe we can put a, put a link down in the, in the show notes there. People click yeah. on them, they can find you. Thank you so much for making time for us and for sharing all your cool stuff. Yeah, thanks for having me. Oh, folks, wasn't that a man? Oh! Oh, wasn't that delightful, folks? St. Alexis of Ascension, I'm so happy to have her on the program. Oh, man, what an inspiration she is, too. I'm so glad you got to see that. All right, friends, we got we got mere seconds remaining, so you please text your art to the number below and be sure to name the artist so we can show it on the TV. Oh, here we go. Oh, look, I got something. I got something to show you here. I got, oh, I got Belle. She's there with little coconuts. Hi, hi, coconuts. Oh, don't that feel good when you scratch your jowls? Oh, that feels good. I know that feels good. Oh, little coconuts. Oh. Man, what a happy view that is. What a delightful little vi vignette we got there. Oh, okay, all right, okay. We're going to go in back here. We got, as you can see, we got some uh, some difficulty here. Uh, we got uh, renderings that do not have any color in the background. Uh, so with only no seconds remaining, do I permit myself to stop here or do I continue for another moment? Uh, I'm gonna continue for another moment. Like I'm gonna make it less than a minute here, but I bet I can, I bet I can add some additional. Mm, I can add some additional bits here, just real quick. Just to okay, just I'm not gonna waste your time. I just want the I just want the bird waterfalls to be more visible. And I'd be cheating you if I did not. Okay, all right, there we go. Okay, get those. Okay, maybe put those in a different color. See, okay, there we go. There we go. How's that look? All right, okay. All right, it's got some, it's got, it needs some more. Okay, all right, we'll get that. Okay, okay, okay. I think I can set it down. I think I can set it down. A work of never, a work of art is never finished. You only run out of time. Oh, Bell, darling, we got any art we got to show? Anybody send anything in? Okay, we want to take a look at that? Let's take a look at what we got sent in here. We got folks sending stuff in here. Let's take a look at it. Okay, let's see. What do we got here, Bell? Oh, look at that. What about that? We got a mixed media piece here. Who made that, darling? Saint Breakfast Machine. Saint Breakfast Machine. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, Saint Breakfast Machine. This is uh, just a charming, a charming rendering here. Mixed media here. That looks like modeling clay. And also Saint Breakfast Machine. Boy, I, I credited this to Saint Courtney earlier, but you also have the anti-squirrel measures really in force. You can see that the glove and some sort of snipping mechanism there. An, a black and ominous snipping mechanisms there is gonna keep any unwanted creatures from scampering up there. Boy, this is it's really a, a pay on to, uh, to the coming robotic and artificial intelligence design improvements we're gonna have here. Cause this is a traditional, uh, traditional style bird bath with just robotic arms put on it. I, I love I love this inside. I think it's beautiful. Uh, Saint Breakfast Machine, thank you so much for sharing this. Belle, you got anything you want to say about this beauty? I just pray Saint Breakfast Machine his, his contributions to art every week. I'm just so grateful he spends his time. With he me. is my rock. He is my rock. Him, him, and little Shirley, little Shirley making art on Sundays. Oh, is there anything else we got to do? Want to show Belle? All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, friends. That is all we got for now. That is all we got for now. So friends, what's the tenth commandment of art? We gotta, we gotta, we gotta art kindly. So we know that folks put a little bit of themselves in everything that they make. So when you look at something somebody made, you gotta art kindly. And I'm talking about you too. You know, when I look at something I made, I go, "Oh, I wish it was better. I wish it was fuller. I wish I had spent more time on this. I wish I had done something a little differently at the beginning." But you know. 
I got to be kind to me too. I got to be just as kind to me as I am to you. So be gentle. Be gentle when you look at a work of art because somebody made that. Now, you got to be honest because artists need honest feedback to improve. And that's a gift if you can give it to them, yourself included. Or if you can show your work to somebody else and say, what do you think? You will be doing me a favor if you can be honest. But you should try to do so kindly and do no harm. Most times you can find one thing you really like about it. And if folks want to hear a little bit of notes, what they change, you give that to them too. So thank you for sending in your art. St. Breck's Machine, St. Courtney, thank you for sending that in. It was so great to be able to, to see that. And I can't wait to see more of your art. I can't see wait to see more of what you create. You got something for me, darling? I do. Give me one second. Oh, we got some more art coming in. Oh, just under the line here. Just under the line here. I'm going to check the timer down on the screen here. Is, it, is that a whoop, whoop? It looks like it says uh, 10,000 minutes. Am I reading that right? Okay, maybe I'm not. Uh-oh. She can't share my screen. Oh, no, she can't share her screen. What happened? All right. We have, I'll tell you what we have. We have fewer technical difficulties every single week. Have you noticed that? We have fewer and fewer technical difficulties every single week. This time, the sound mostly worked. Uh, this time, the callers mostly worked. This time, we got to see some of your art. That's right. You remember that? Remember when that didn't happen? Okay. Friends, for now, we're going we're gonna to thank you for the art that you sent in. We're going to show it next time. And that's the art I made. Look at that. So uh, I'm going to art kindly to myself. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to recognize that I did what I, I was able and the time allotted, and that it's a, a fine start. It's a, it's a nice a nice bird bath with lots of attributes. What do I like about this bird bath? Well, I like the tree. I like the colors here. I like those. I like the, uh, I would say hastily visualized. Now, that's a that's a critique now. No, it's effortless. It's not hasty. It's, it's an effortlessly breezed out anti-cap measure on the bottom. No, what I like about this, what I like about it is these, it's these, these waterfalls we got going. There we go. Now, friends, back in the old days, at the end of the service, this would be when we go out back, we'd get pancakes. We'd line up at the griddle. I'd say, what kind of pancake you want? You'd say, I want a picture of a tree. And I'd, I'd take my pancake brush and I'd make you a tree cake and I'd flip it. I'd say, what's your name? And I'd, I'd put, it, I'd put a, your name on it. I'd, I'd draw a rendering of you looking at the pancake tree. Put some eggs on the plate. Now, back in the old day, we'd have some good old-fashioned artistic fellowship. We'd have some strong coffee, some fresh-squeezed juice, both infantilized and adulterated, wink. And soon again, my friends, we will. Soon again, we will all be together. But for now, Belle, you want to come up here, darling? Oh, there's little coconuts. How you doing, coconuts? Oh. My darling, did you have fun in the chat? I had such a good time. I'm so sorry, St. Shirley and St. Courtney, that we couldn't get your photos on screen. But come on back next Sunday, and we're going to show them off to everybody. Oh, I look forward to seeing those, St. Shirley, St. Courtney. Thank you to everyone who called, everyone who sent in. Folks, folks, we're going to see you next Sunday when our craft, when Art's craft is to, to be determined. I can't wait. Boy, I... I, I uh, that's another thing I got on the list to fix. Uh, see you next Sunday, everyone. 11 a.m. Pacific. <laughs> Bye, y'all.